Hi guys, and welcome back to Freeze Drying Mama. Today we're doing something kind of fun. Um, I have these things, we, we have Super One down here, and it's awesome because they have a lot of these, these pre-made, um, I, I, I call them party, party like accessories. So we're gonna say party accessories. They have this salsa two-layer dip. It has a really nice guac on the bottom and a salsa mix on top, and it can get kind of spicy. Well, they were on sale, and I went down there, and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna freeze dry some. So I bought a ton, plus my kids like to eat them because they like everything, including spicy stuff. So I got a bunch of these, and what I do with them is instead of trying to keep them uniform, you know, and try to have, try to keep the guac and then put the salsa on top, I like to mix them really good in the containers because I'm gonna put them in the freezer. And I want them all mixed because I'll be able to just add water to the mix when it comes out of the freeze dryer to reconstitute it. So it looks kind of gross, let's be honest. It's like a brownish greenish color, nothing wrong with that. So that's what it's gonna look like when I mix it. And then I'll just scrape it in the pan. And I'm gonna try and get four of these into a pan. We'll see, that's pretty, that's gonna be pretty overzealous of me, but I have never claimed to not be ambitious. So let's let's see if we can do that. I'll be back in about two minutes. <laughs> All right, look at that. My ambition paid off. My daughter made a good point. We did it. We have four of those containers like this fit onto the tray. It's gonna be a little over and that's totally fine. If you've seen the sour cream video, you know that it's really good to have it just at the top. You can go a little bit over, but only if you're extremely confident in your freezing skills. So while we're looking at that, put my dirty spoon in the sink. Um, I'm going to tell you that we are going to freeze this first. This is gonna freeze overnight because it's not gonna be solid enough as it is, and it's a pretty viscous material. So I'm going to be putting it in the freeze dryer to make sure it gets hard, solid, frozen hard, um, before I put it in the freeze dryer. The reason I'm doing this is because I have had an experience with the same kind of density and same kind of thickness and viscous material, which is sour cream. I put it in the freezer for about four hours and then I put it into my freeze dryer and it was a mess. It wasn't done enough, wasn't frozen enough. So now I have to make sure it's frozen before I put it into the freeze dryer for it to drop the, the temperature even lower. So this is ready to go into the freezer. I would put this in the liquid, not frozen setting and then I would hit start. Okay guys, here we go, thank you. Hi guys, okay, I thought it was only gonna take about 24 hours. I even wore makeup yesterday, and guess what? It was 48 hours and 15 minutes to do my guacamole and salsa dip. But look at how pretty it is. It turned out really nice. I was, I was expecting it to have more of a brown color, but look, you can see it freeze dried pretty good. Um, I'm filling the bottom of stuff right now, and it feels nice and warm, so it's gonna be perfect. What I'm gonna do with this one, because it is a dip, I'm going to be putting it into one of my Ziploc so I can pull it out. I, I really just need to reconstitute it with, I could do it with milk or with water. Water's going to be the better thing. Um, and then I'm really just going to cut it into fourths and then put it into these eggs and have it ready to go. Um, I'm really excited because what's great about this is you can use it in anything, not just as a dip. So this would be really great to add to your tacos or to add to like a Mexican lasagna. I know my kids love those. You could sprinkle it in as a topping on a salad. Um, it really could be anything. And that's what's phenomenal about freeze drying stuff is you can just turn it into a plethora of ideas. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to put them into soups. And this would be excellent as a topping for like a Mexican taco soup um, or enchiladas. I mean, it really would be great with anything. And you can see that it really just freeze dried really nice and it's like a wafer. It's that's awesome. And I can't even tell you how delicious it smells. I smell like, I feel like I'm like in some kind of a Mexican restaurant or something and I'm just sitting here in front of it. So um, I hope you get a chance to try something like this. Again, this was just salsa mixed with a guacamole dip. Mixed it really good and then just put on the tray. You can see that I did not go flush with the top of the tray. Um, I actually went over and it worked out fine. As long as you don't go above the height of the tray itself where the shelves go in, you'll be fine. Uh, I can't wait to see what you guys think and what you come up with yourselves. Please go ahead and hit subscribe and I hope that you're having a great fun time with your own freeze dryer. And if you haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend giving it a shot. All right, thanks you guys. And I'm gonna get these packaged up and we'll go from there. Thanks.